Don't confuse Day of the Dead with Halloween. Such different history behind them. One is meant to be scary and the other one is meant to remember your ancestors. Now, if you're gonna go to a funeral, for your grandmother, you're not gonna go dressed as a unicorn, that's for sure. Yeah, just to have a level of respect, a lot of people at these events are in mourning, in honoring their ancestors, and other people show up as unicorns and it could be offensive. There's so much history and layers that I feel that it's important to kind of like not let uh, the foundation of who we are die down. And I feel that that's something that's constantly, that's why we keep bringing it back to the forefront because we don't want our history uh, being erased. There's so much delicious depth to our people. And I feel that that's what the driving force behind a lot of my art is, is the inspiration that I get from my ancestors. I think that's part of the always wanting to bring forward our history, put our people in good light because it, it kind of, We've been living through experiences where our culture keeps getting diluted, diluted, diluted. A lot of people of different cultures ask me if I mind that if they're Caucasian that they celebrate Day of the Dead. And I tell them, I don't mind because it's, what for, first of all, it's not my holiday. It's not. It's a holiday that's been celebrated for over 3,000 years. But it is a holiday based on remembering and honoring your ancestors. Who doesn't have ancestors that they want to honor and love? I don't think that there's anything against anybody partaking. It's only when you don't do it in a respectful way that it's offensive. And that's why I like to take the opportunities that I take and educate as many people as I can. Even if I get hired on a job where they don't realize the depth of the culture, I take that opportunity and I go take with me my history and I share with everyone on set, believe me, I'm chatting their ears off. I take every opportunity I can when somebody's in my chair to teach them about the history of our culture. Everything gets exploited. I think the fact that even the fact that I've always liked this holiday, creating skeletons. In, in Mexican culture, uh, death is not something to be feared. Skeletons don't mean scary for us. And at this point, everybody is using the skeletons in every which way they can. I mean, skeletons don't belong to Mexicans. We are all skeletons inside. But I feel that when the the word Day of the Dead is put in front of everything and not without the understanding of what the history is. That's something that's hard to accept for me. I know that the artist in me struggles because I want to keep pursuing all these creative projects and I don't want to, me, myself, partake in uh, erasing of culture because I see the imagery being used for everything on anything so cheaply by anyone without any love for culture. It even turns me off to participate. I feel like it, maybe I should stop doing so many events. I felt this several times with the events that I, that I partake in. Sometimes I'm at the event and I feel like, you know what, the connection to what's really supposed to be happening is gone. Yes, there's beer. Yes, there's musicians. Yes, there's people in awesome wardrobe. But do people understand what they're what they're participating in? And if they don't, I question: What am I doing here? Should I be partaking in this, or you know, should I take a step back? Many times I think that I would love to some year actually celebrate Day of the Dead in Mexico. That's one of the goals. But event organizers have a responsibility to keep making that connection definitely between their events and the culture behind it. And I know that I participated in events where I felt they had zero culture, just the glitz. And I just felt so uncomfortable with myself for having participated. I don't know, I just questioned, should I even be partaking in this as it gets exploited? to its full capacity. Day of the Dead is not a trend, it's a culture. It's beautiful too. It's just, I mean, honoring your ancestors. There's so much to it, like the senpasuchil flowers and the candles and the, the using the copal to, so that the, your ancestors can smell the fragrance and find their way back to you and lighting candles. Really, it, there's so much beauty to it. To be honest, I don't know where the concept of trademarking the name Day of the Dead was. But whoever thought of that one should get fired. It, it, this happened around the time that the movie Coco was being filmed. I don't want to say that they don't have respect for the culture because just the movie itself shows you how much research they did and how beautifully dis they displayed our culture. And it was really funny to me. I would have been really offended if, if it went through and um, they own the name. That's ridiculous. You can own culture. That's just silly. The problem is when businesses are in a hurry to uh, produce products that are gonna sell 
And that's where I feel the disrespect is when they're producing these cheap items, like you said, at the discount store, and there's no thought process behind what they mean. And they're actually promoted for Halloween. That's the offensive part. I think last year I saw that they were actually labeling some of the products as Day of the Dead. And I thought, well, at least they're labeled as Day of the Dead because most here it's it says Halloween this and Halloween that. I don't take offense into other cultures partaking. I think it's amazing that our way of doing things as far as honoring our ancestors are being observed throughout the world. I That's just flattering and it's great because it comes from a good place to honor your ancestors. The problem is yes, when you're producing products that mean nothing and just marketing them as Halloween and if you're not gonna respect the history behind it, that's when I feel like don't participate in it. Other than that, if other people across the world wanna celebrate this holiday, I'm all for it. I'm excited to hear of it. I like to see it, invite me. I'd love to be there, you know?